welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing a video on what I put in my very super handy baby cabbage, uh, baby caddy, <laughs> baby caddy. So yeah, I have um, a couple of these actually. This is what they are. And as you can see, they have some sections inside. Now these are super handy. I have one in my bedroom and I also have one in the lounge. Um, and I fill them up with various things that I need to hand basically. Things that just make my job that little bit easier when I have, you know, if I have five children. Um, so, and three of them being very young. <laughs> so yeah, it's always really helpful to have something like this that is just completely stocked full of all the things I need to hand um, for my kids. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, nappies I have um, a two month old daughter and a 19 month old daughter who are both in nappies so I have nappies for both of them in both of my caddies I have some metanium I think I've got that upside down metanium um, I have some of this, this is nappy cream, this is really really good nappy cream as well. Um, I have this in there to hand, it's nice and easy. I normally used to have it in my changing bag and then I could never find it when I needed it and I'd be trying to sort the kids out and then I'd be trying to find this in the bottom of the bag and it was just a nightmare. So it is now safely in my nappy caddy. So I have this, this is Curly Ellie um, leave-in conditioner and also a detangling spray. I have these for Jacob and Molly, Jacob is three and Molly is 19 months. They both have really curly hair um, and I use this after they've had a bath and I used to have it in the bathroom um, but then I would bring them in here to um, get changed off their bath and then I'd have to try and go back to the bathroom to get them and then they would kind of run away and I'd <laughs> it would be a bit chaotic trying to get them ready. So I put them in my caddy in my lounge so they're nice and to hand and ready for when I get them out of the bath. Next I have some of this. This is actually nipple cream, but um, I'm not breastfeeding anymore, but I do use it now as, um, as a lip balm. Someone recommended it to me on Instagram and I absolutely swear by it. <laughs> it is amazing. I use this all the time now on my lips and I also use it on the kids' lips because they all get quite dry lips in the winter. So just a little tiny thin layer on top and uh, yeah, keeps your lips nice and smooth. Next I have some of this. This is the Blossom and Bloom um, Pillow Sleep Spray. I honestly swear by this. I spray this on all of my children's, mine is my oldest, um, pillows at night. Um, just before, like, about 10 minutes before they go down to bed. And um, honestly, I swear by it. <laughs> it is so good and it smells so nice. I've used it a couple of times as well um, on my pillow. And yeah, it's just nice and relaxing. And um, so I have that in my caddy in the bedroom next to uh, my bed. So it's ready to just spray on all their, um, yeah, on their bedding before they go to bed. I have just a couple of uh, dummies. Um, these are just handy to have um, because I do tend to in the night especially lose, like I can't find um, Lila's dummy when she's crying. Um, she's the only one that has dummies, Lila. But um, yeah, it's easy just to have a couple of extras <laughs> um, in there because, yeah, I normally cannot find it or it's normally just in a, you know, sleepy haze trying to find it and then it's just easier to just pop into there because there's some in there. Uh, next, I have just a set of uh, nail clippers. Um, I just use these for the kids after a bath when their nails get a bit long. Um, and it's nice to just have them in there, easy to hands on. Then I have a changing mat. Um, I have this one in the one in the lounge, so when I change their nappies, um, I have a mat ready because I don't really want to change them on my sofa or the floor or anything about one. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what it's like if you're a parent and you've got uh, small children that like do poop. Spare muslin and a bib. Um, both of these um, kind of things I just restock once I um, once I've used it and it's got dirty or whatever in the wash and then just restock them and I always like to keep muslins in there because honestly I'm the worst with muslins I always forget to take them out and I always need them <laughs> and yeah I'll ask my mum <laughs> I'm an absolute not every time I go around there I do not have one and then I end up going through tons of baby wipes when I'm you know feeding or anything so yeah I really do need to get better with the muslins <laughs> baby wipes 
of obvious reasons why baby wipes would be in a nappy caddy. Um, yeah, keep these well stocked up. I like to buy um, baby wipes in like big boxes. And um, whenever we get paid, we tend to just go and buy like a bulk buy of nappies and baby wipes and things. And then they're all kind of set for the month. And then I just restock my caddy as and when. Baby grows. Um, this is just a couple of sleep suits for Lila um, in the night, especially I do not want to be getting up and going to her clothes are actually in the boys room um, in, the, in um, the wardrobe in the boys room. So it's just easier to have a couple of baby grows and also some baby vests um, in there as well so that I don't have to get up and go rummaging around in the boys room in the middle of the night when she's you know, had thrown up or whatever. Then I have a little baby hairbrush that is for Lila. It's really super soft. Um, and I also do have a uh, detangling hairbrush for uh, Molly and Jacob, but I do not know where it is. <laughs> so I can't put it in there right now, but when I find it, it will be going in there. <laughs> this is my finished product all filled all stocked up ready for a new week um, and like I said I have one in the lounge one in my bedroom so it's super super handy and um, if any of you have any recommendations for anything else I should be putting in my caddy that might make my life that bit easier put them in the comment section below and please give me a big thumbs up and also if you would like to please subscribe I'm going to be doing videos similar to this and um, also traveling we are going to be going on a couple of trips this year which I'm super excited about and I'm going to be doing some trip announcements soon let's just say they might be slightly Disney related <laughs> um, also just yeah I'm so excited to do this this is my first video on my YouTube channel and I'm really really excited to get started and to kind of do this properly and to do something that I'm quite passionate about um, and also hopefully it'll be really helpful to other parents with young children especially pe other parents that have got large families I'm definitely going to be doing things along the lines of um, you know tips on how to make things easier <laughs> when you've got so many children like I said I have five um, and things can get a bit chaotic and hectic so I am always on the lookout for new things and new ideas of how to um, just make my life a bit easier so yeah please 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 subscribe and please give this a big thumbs up and I will see you in another video bye